Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Crafty Concepts with Erin. Today I'm working with the In Full Bloom collection and this piece from the current mix-ins, which I love. And my mom gave me a bunch of photos and in there were these. This is my eighth grade graduation. So I thought, oh, the dress is the perfect color for this paper pack. I only had the two sizes and I think I'm gonna go with the smaller. It's a three and a half by five because the other one is just too big. I wish I had a five by seven or even a four by six, but this is what I have to work with. So I'm just kind of auditioning some of the papers. I am scrap lifting a layout I found on Pinterest, which I will leave linked in the description box below for you to check out. So I'm creating a center banner and then we're gonna layer some beautiful floral embellishments around the large banner. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down. This piece is already eight inches wide and I'm trimming it to 11 and a half, but I do end up trimming it to 11 inches in length. And then I will cut this one slightly larger. We're gonna cut it at nine inches in width. And then this one will also end up being 11 inches in length. So you'll see what I'm gonna do with that. I gut out the center because this is going to completely cover it. And then I did score some lines for me to follow because when the paper is wider, it is harder to eyeball it when you put this little dovetail into the bottom. So I went ahead and just measured four inches and I thought, it would, it would be easier to hold that way, but I couldn't see my little score line, so it's a little bit awkward to hold on to the small end of the paper, but I wanted this to come out nice and even. Now I want the lighter floral piece behind it to look like it's a full banner piece layered behind there. Before I cut that, I'm gonna go ahead and ink the edges here with black ink to finish this off and just give it a nice edge around the pattern paper here. I think this pattern paper is so neat. It reminds me of a field journal. I just love the text print, newsprint on there and the cameras and the little, almost reminds me of like pressed flowers and butterflies. I absolutely love it. I do wanna mention that that pretty floral paper on the bottom layer is exclusive to the In Full Bloom Workshop. That does not come in the regular paper pack. What I'm doing is I'm lining up the edge and I'm trimming this because I want the angle to be the exact same angle. So this was the easiest way for me to do that. And then when I pull it down because I'm leaving a half inch margin at the top, it's going to uh, turn out perfectly. So I'm gonna bump it over to the other side and repeat the process. So we'll go ahead and line this up. You can see I have that half inch margin all the way around and that's gonna look so good. So I grabbed several of the pocket cards and I just want these kind of loosely matting the photo like you kind of just set some papers down on the table and then picked them up without straight straightening them. Hopefully that makes sense. I just want a little bit of that black peeking out. Now this stencil is from my stash, but I wanted to add just a soft, subtle stenciling with some Lagoon ink to the background, peeking out the right hand side here. So I'm just lining that up and actually I decided to go with Glacier because it's even lighter. I've mentioned this before, when you use these bristled craft brushes, it allows you to put it on so soft and it just gives you that very subtle look, which is what I'm going for. I'm currently scrapbooking at a retreat with friends right now, so if you notice a little bit of shaking to the camera, that's why I am away from my normal setup, but I love going to retreats, it's so fun. This one in particular was held in San Francisco in a historic home, and it was a really good time. The home was beautiful, the atmosphere great, the weather perfect, and I hope that they hold it again next year. So we're ready to start embellishing. I'm bringing in pieces. These are frames from the workshop. They were some of the extra die cuts, and I love to cut frames down and um, just layer them like you see me doing here, like tabs or kind of just little decorative elements peeking out from behind the photo. So that's what I'm gonna do there. Let me go ahead and ink the edges. This helps those stand out. It just gives them a little bit of definition and contrast against the background. And you'll see that does make a big difference. So I always have my black ink foam ready to go. And I just tend to reach for black. Sometimes I'll switch it up with other colors, but this one just always seems to work. Now I have a ton of these floral uh, images here. And then this butterfly, the paperboard chipboard piece layers right over the top. 
So we're, I know I want to use that. And then I want to create this cluster of flowers over on the left-hand side of the layout. So when you're layering, you know, I've mentioned this before, but I like to put things behind the photo, some over the photo. And then we'll even bring in some foam tape to highlight those layers and give them some more separation. I like the butterfly up top on the corner to soften those angles and then we'll just tuck in some of these sprigs and again these pieces are from the uh, workshop the in full bloom work workshop and I do have a few stamped images as well because there's a coordinating stamp set where you can create even more. If you're not comfortable with your layering skills, florals are a great place to start. I find them the easiest embellishment to create layers and it's just you're mimicking what they do in nature with the leaves and the sprigs and it's just easy to accomplish that layered look that we all love on our scrapbook pages. I do want to create a little cluster up top. So that is from the coordinating sticker sheet. And then the layout I'm scrap lifting has real stitching, but since I'm at a retreat, I don't have my needles or anything like that. Definitely don't have a sewing machine with me. So I'm going to use these embroidered borders stamp set here and a little black ink. And we're going to create some faux stitching across the top of the layout. This is such a good stamp set. It's one of those, it may not be that exciting to look at, but it's definitely one that I will never part with because you can do so many things with these borders. And I love that it has different stitching options on there. So we're just going to ink that up and line it up and we're gonna go all the way across the top. And I purposely kind of went over the edge just to make it look like I sewed it down. Now this one, I'm gonna clean it off because I don't want it to you know, go all the way over. So I'm just measuring how much I'm going to ink up. I'm hesitating because I realize there's a much easier way to do this. This is what happens when you craft with other people. You're distracted. So I wiped off my stamp and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to grab a piece of paper and mask off where I want the stitching to stop because that is definitely the best approach for this. And then I can just line up that edge and it'll come out perfectly. Work smarter, not harder, right? So let me scoot this back up into the frame. And then I'm going to bring in those pieces to create this little cluster up top. This is a pocket card, a three by four pocket card. And there's this little sentiment on here. It says it's a beautiful life and I like it. So I'm going to cut that out really quick and use this on the page. I really love adding word phrases like this and this was perfect. So I'll end up fussy cutting that flower out from the pocket card and use it on a different layout. So I'm just going to trim up the edges there. At first I was thinking up in this area here, but no, I don't quite like it. So maybe offset and that's not right either. So I'm going to just layer it over this floral element and move on for now. I can always come back to that later. I did cut one of these tabs from the Tabs Thin Cuts. I'm gonna layer this behind that little element up top for an added layer, and then I will tie them together with this flower. I showed you this pattern paper in the beginning. It's from the Current Mixing Collections, and I cut the strips down. I'm using them as more word phrases on the layout. This one says, say yes to adventures and then never stop dreaming. I thought those were very appropriate for a graduation layout. And then this is a sticker from the sticker sheet. It says, live life in or live in full bloom. And I thought that was a good title. I am going to add a little bit of foam tape, but then I noticed I needed a little bit more of those black leaves up top just to kind of balance out that cluster on the left-hand side. So this is the regular 3D foam tape. It comes in two different widths, which is really nice. And there's also a thin 3D foam tape if you want a uh, even thinner layer. And sometimes it's nice to mix and match them when you're creating layered embellishments for those different heights on your layout. My mom's been going through old photographs. She was not a scrapbooker, so all of our old pictures are in antique suitcases, just kind of piled in there. So she's been going through them and, and giving them to the, you know, who they belong to. So it was fun to find these back from um, 1993. You guys are trying to do the math, aren't you? So since this is a graduation layout, they have this really cute stamp set in the current catalog. So I'm grabbing my ink and a piece of white daisy, but let me show you. This is the March and April, and you can see the little scroll with the flowers and then a stack of books with the hat that says you did it. And those are super cute. And the little pennant banners, they'd be great graduation cards, but they work for this as well. 
well. So I like that we can use our stamps to kind of add just a little bit more to the story behind the photo. So this will, you know, tell the viewer that it is a graduation layout. Plus I'll include that in my journaling. I grabbed some of my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. Now this is a super tiny image, so I'm not doing any fancy coloring. I'm just coloring each image in, you know, with one shade. There's three shades in one. So I'm using the blue turquoise blend, and then I use dull green for the leaves, and I'm using brown gray to add some shadowing to the scroll and just give that some character. So I'm just using the medium tone around the edges, and then I'll kind of lighten it up, you know, so we're coloring the inside where it would be darker, and then just going around the edges of the flowers and edges of the note paper there. I'll also bring in my uh, colorless blender here. This is actually a color remover. So that's how that is working. And if you just kind of go, it softens the edges. So when you're going into the white where I didn't color, it just gives that even more of a natural look. This does not come with a coordinating thin cut, so I just grabbed my micro tip scissors and I'm quickly gonna fussy cut that out. I've obviously sped this up quite a bit, but if you have a good pair of scissors, it is not so bad. I know some of you aren't fans of fussy cutting, but if you just move the paper and not your scissors, then it is a lot easier and you get those nice rounded edges. I cut my uh, journaling, I printed that out on white daisy cardstock and cut it into strips. So I'm kind of thinking maybe this little diploma scroll down here. And my journaling is very simple. It just says eighth grade graduation, Curtis Creek Elementary. But now I'm thinking maybe this will look better up top. So I'm just going to move that and then keep my journaling here. And I do like that balance better. I've grabbed some clear sparkles and I'm going to add a few of those around the clusters just for some more texture and some shine. I can remember when my mom took me dress shopping to pick this dress out. I was so excited about it. It was my favorite color and it was off the shoulder and I just felt so pretty and just all grown up. And it's kind of funny looking back on it now, but it was just such a big deal, you know, eighth grade graduation and and we got to wear our fancy dresses and she took me to have my hair done. And it was a, a really fun time and I have very fond memories of this day. I am loving the way that faux stitching is looking across the top of the page and all these gorgeous stamped images and stickers and die cuts working together. If you are looking for more inspiration for the In Full Bloom collection, you're going to want to check out this playlist right here. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.